Under the guidance. Under the guidance. This one? So yesterday we were speaking about uh, the Mahatma and how Nityananda Prabhu told to Jiva Goswami to go to go to Vrindavan and stay under the guidance of Rupa and Sanatan doing bhajan and sadhana. Listening to this, Srila Jiva Goswami, he asked, Prabhu, you told that there is no difference between Navadipa and Vrindavan. You told that there is no difference between Navadipa and Vrindavan. So, why now you telling me to go? To why now you sending me to Vrindavan if there is no difference between both to Navadipa and Vrindavan? Listening to this, Nityananda, he gave one beautiful answer. There's no difference between Navadipa and Vrindavan. What I told yesterday. It was like one coin. So a coin, imagine a coin of 5 rupees or 10 rupees. Both sides, they have the same value. So they have the same value. Maybe start again with this. So they have the same value. So in the same way, there's no difference between Navadipa and Vrindavan. But according to the Rasa Madhurya, we see some special in the sweetness of each one. What is this speciality? Vrindavan Adam is Madhurya Adam. Is that sweetness down? Another day place called Audhajamaida. Just like Mahaprabhu is Audhajya Bigraha. He is the deity of embodiment of compassion and magnanimous. Do you need this? She wants also to have to share with her. You have your phone? So what is the meaning of Audarya? Even with, without asking, you are ready to give everything. You're so generous. As much as you want, take, 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 take more, take more, take more. This poss- in this world is not possible someone like this because in this world everything is limited Has a, how much money you have for example how much there is a limit no? but Lord is unlimited he is infinite so infinite minus infinite equals infinite So, Mahaprabhu. was giving, giving and ready to give more. Mahaprabhu, he, Chaitanya Charitamrita explains that Mahaprabhu, he made all the jivas intoxicated with Krishna Pram. You know this shloka, Advaita Charit told Mahaprabhu, everybody already became crazy with Krishna Pram, intoxicated. This was the words that Adwaita Chara told to Mahaprabhu. Adwaita Chara wrote a letter to Mahaprabhu. But it was like a charade, how do you say it's an um, analogy. Analogy, like it's not the direct meaning words, it's just like some poem, like some rhymes. With so not everybody understood the inner meanings of those words of Adwaita Chara. 
so that about the rice, you know, like everybody already t- took the rice and al baul chow. Like, what do you understand of these rhymes of a poem of the Twist Chari? So three words in this letter, in this letter, al baul and chow. Baulo means crazy. Baulo is called somebody who has no Siddhanta. Who has no Siddhanta. Doing just anything. So the first person who came first asked, tell me. Okay, what is the name of that politician of India? Oh, then he said, oh, Subhash Chandra. Okay, how old are you? You know that story of one person. When the India got independence? 19? 19? So in, the, in Hindi, you can maybe know. Anyway, how many stars in the in the in the sky? Another question. Ah, they are still researching. Two persons they were doing exam or exam. So one guy didn't know the answer, so he was just seeing what the other student was replying to the answers. Okay. So that person. So when the first second boy came for doing the oral exam. So that teacher asked him, tell me, ah, I know the answers, I just know all the answers. Okay, what's the answer? Ah, the answer is Netaji, Subhash Chandra Bush is one person in India, from history of India. I mean, see, he had a, when the India got independence, when India got independence, which year? 1947. 1947, England got independence. Okay, so he told also this answer. And then teacher asked. Okay, I just know that he didn't know, he, you know, this boy, he didn't know all the, only the answers he knew. Because he was thinking that the teacher would ask all the questions to everyone in the oral exams. I think, you know, in the exams, there's only the same questions for everyone. We are all reading, same, studying the same class, so we'll get the same ans- questions in the oral exam. So he was just memorizing what the teacher asked to, to the other students. So, but the teacher asked to this, now this student, what's your name? And he answered, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bush, like the name of an important person in the history of India. When were you born? Teacher asked. Oh, I was born in 1947. Like the, the answer? Are you crazy? The teacher said, oh, how come you were born in 1947? Then he answered, oh, I'm still searching. Because this was the answer for the first boy. When the teacher asked him about the stars, the, the boy told, oh, scientists are researching for the stars. But now there's another boy. The teacher asked, are you crazy? Because he t- said he was born in 1947. Because actually he was just memori- he had memorized the answer of the independence of India. Did you feel bliss? The happiness listening to the story? So the Bow, uh, these crazy people, they're like this. They just say anything which is in their minds and they don't have any siddhanta, no conceptions of the scriptures, nothing. But there are two kinds of crazy people. Listen carefully. One person is a material list crazy person. Like some people crazy for money, some people are crazy for women, some people crazy for men, some people crazy for get a uh, name, fame, reputation. In this world is full of crazy people. Is there anyone who is not crazy? Everyone is crazy. Everyone's crazy in this world. Everyone. Do you know a pagal? Crazy? It's, it's 
asked like a mental hospital this year, this world, who goes to the mental hospital? Only crazy people go. So Prabhupada says, who comes to the hospital? Sick people, patients. So all is patient in somehow, somehow. So what is the, who is crazy, like Chit Pagal, spiritually crazy, crazy for Krishna Prem. When the people become crazy for love, then they become just like crazy. They become intoxicated by Krishna Prem. This is called a Prakrita Prem, transcendental love. She told to Krishna, like Mahaprabhu told in this shloka of Shikshastaka. How she met Radhika, she is like crazy, even in separation from Krishna. So Advaita Charya wrote a letter to Mahaprabhu saying what? This Bengali poem. Can the sound of the I'm recording the register. So everybody was intoxicated with Krishna Prem. Mahaprabhu made everybody become intoxicated with Krishna Prem. Mahaprabhu gave Prem to everyone and nobody else, like, are everybody full. It's full, everybody. So Advaita Chari was telling to Mahaprabhu, now come back to your dham. Go back to your abode. This was the meaning of that letter. But not everybody could understand the meaning of that letter. What's the answer Mahaprabhu gave? The devotees were asking, what the meaning of this Aul, Baal, Chal? Then, you know, Mahaprabhu told Advaita Chari, he's the Pujak, he's the best worshipper. He's the worshipper of the deity. Those who worship the deity, first they do Avahan, I mean, they call the deity first. If you are Pujari, you have to call the first, first the deity, you must call the deity. Give some Asan, place to sit and wash the feet of the deity, Argya, all these things. Then, have to offer garland, send old paste and other things according to the rules of this Shastras. So Mahaprabhu wanted to say, I came to this material world and who brought me to this world was Advaita Charya. Mahaprabhu told, I was sleeping in Yoga Nidra. And Nara, Nara means Advaita Charya. Advaita Charya is called Nira. Nira means somebody who shake me. If someone is sleeping, how to wake this person up? You must, you must shake the person. The person doesn't want to wake up. You call him, he's not waking up, standing up, so you must shake the person. So Mahaprabhu also told, I was sleeping in the ocean of Nuk. And who woke me up? Advaita Charya. When he rolled, like he called loudly, Prabhu, if you don't come now to this material world, I will with manifest four arms and I will destroy this whole creation. Advaita Charya, what did he do? He made Mahaprabhu manifest in this world. This was the calling of Advaita Acharya. 
So how many reasons for Mahaprabhu coming? Do you know or not? Two reasons why Mahaprabhu came. One is the main reason, another secondary reason. Main reason one? You know what is Mukya? Principal reason. Two and the secondary reason also two. So Mukha Karan, main reason, the first of them is Shradaya Pranay Mahima. This shloka explains. Understand? Second primary reason is the calling of Advaita Acharya. So two main reasons why Mahaprabhu came. First, Shradaya Pranay Mahima, the three greeds that Krishna wanted to relish. Three things from Shumatra he wanted to relish. So, three things of Shmatradka's love that Krishna could not relish before. Krishna wanted so much, that's why he took the mood and compaction of Shmatradka and appeared in this world. Krishna is wondering what is my beauty and sweetness that Shmatradka is always relishing. Third. What Shmati Radhika she feels when she relishes my beauty? So what is in me that she is always relishing? What does she feel when she relishes? And what is the glory of her love? So these are the three reasons that Mahaprabhu came. But this is the first primary reason subdivides in three. And second, Mukha Karan. So two main reasons. One, describing this verse, Shri Radhaya Pranay Mahima. Three grades of Krishna. Second, second Mukha Karan is the calling of Advaita Acharya. Gona Karan, there are two secondary reasons. So the first one is How Shashan Mahaprabhu is so merciful and generous. Something that which was not given long time ago. Mahaprabhu, Guru Sundar, he came and after a long time, how much long time? After 1000 Chatur Yugas. Satatetadaprakali, this cycle rotating a thousand times. Yeah, one day of Brahma. Then, in the end of Dapara, in the beginning of Kali Yuga, same Krishna, he appeared in the form of Shachand Gura Hari. And Mahaprabhu is relishing this Prima Vishma and giving drops of this to the jivas of this world. He is relishing, he is taking this. What? The Unata Ujwala Ras. This Unata Ujwala Ras he is tasting and taking Mahaprabhu. So this beauty of his own devotional service. What is this? This one rays of the Prema of Shamataradika. Swabhakti Sriyam. So Mahaprabhu is giving to the jivas 
giving to everyone. Just the beauty. So this is the first of the secondary reasons and the second of the secondary reason to establish the Yuga Dharma which is Nama Sankirtana What is the Yuga Dharma? It's what people must do in that age. People forgot, forgot Varnashram Dharma. Doing bad things in this world. People. So we also must purify the society. So pr propagating the Yuga Dharma. This is something which must be done. And this Yuga Dharma it's Namadharma, it's na holy names in this age. It's like the Bhagavad Gita Krishna says. So all these reasons. So I was speaking about other things. Main kata was Jiva Goswami Nitananda. Okay, my main kata I was speaking before. Nitananda told to Jiva go to Vrindavan. Go to Vrindavan and stay under the guidance of Rupa and Sanatana doing performing our Southern Bhajan. At that time, Jiva Goswami. He, Told. But there's no difference between Avadipa and Vrindavana, right? But the speciality is that one Dhamma is more full of sweetness, Madhurya my Dham, and another one more full of generosity. Audarya my Dham. Vrindavana is called Madhurya my Dham, and Navadipa is Audarya my Dham. Magnanimate. So, but what is the definition of Audarya Madhurya? Where? Madhurya. Madhurya Dham, sweetness means. When there is so much love and affection towards Krishna, just like he is a family member, Lokik Sadabandu Bhat Priti. This is called Madhurya. Shila Baladeva Videbushinu Prabhu. He defines Madhurya. In a very beautiful way. What is Madhurya? What is Madhurya? Is when you behave like with your Ishtadeva, just like if Ishtadeva is your family member. Love, worldly affection, just like you have so much love in a relationship with your parents, mother, father, brother, sister. People have these relationships in the family and friends in this world. So in the same way, Devrajavas is the eternal associates of Krishna. Ragat Mikajan. Ragatmika Jan, they have <coughs> sorry, Lokik Sadamanu Bhat Priti with Krishna. Affection is like a family member. They don't say Krishna as Bhagavan. Actually, they don't accept that Krishna is Bhagavan. Not at all. They don't have that thought, the feeling that Krishna is Bhagavan. So this is Madhurya. Krishna also performing pastimes as like a human being. According to the type of the devotee, Bhagavan will manifest his form accord accordingly. Just like a Durjamani, one kind of crystal. By Durjamani means one kind of crystal that has, has seven colors in, inside this stone. According to the angle the, of vision that you look towards this stone crystal you can see different color 
it's the same like it's only one stone but according to the angle which you look at it you see different colors in the same way the bridge buses they have this relationship with Krishna like a worldly family member some people think Krishna is their son friends of Krishna in Sakarasa they think Krishna is their friend and Madhuriras, the gopis. The gopis have which kind of relationship with Krishna? Beloved, lover and beloved. beautiful bhav. The Krishna prefers to listen the gopis insulting him, blaspheming him, than the prayers of the Vedas. So, Krishna is only one, but according to your devotion, means according to the rasa of the devotee, Bhagavan will manifest to that devotee in that specific form. Like to Hanuman, Lord that manifests in the form of Ram Chandra. With that same Krishna, Ram is Krishna. There's no difference between Rama and Krishna. It's offense, an offense if you make any distinction between Rama and Krishna. If you think Krishna is one Bhagavan, one God, and Rama is another God, if you think like this, it's an offense. But in front of the devotees of Dasya Rasa, God manifests in that form, the form of Ram and Hanuman. He will be happy. Hanuman himself told, there's no difference between Krishna and Ram. But my Nishta is in Lord Ramachandra. Ramachandra is my life and soul. So in front of these kinds of devotees, God manifests the form accordingly to the devotee, to the mood of the devotee. Like Srimati Radhika, she is my superiors can criticize me, can even give up on me, everybody can give me up. But I'll never give up Govinda, he is my love and soul. Srimati Radhika is saying, I love Krishna, I can never give up Krishna. But if my superiors chastise me, no problem. Or if they give me up, give up on me. Still, Shamasundar is everything f for me, everything to me. Krishna is my life and soul. So beautiful mood. That's why Madhurya, okay, speciality of the Madhurya of Braj. And what is Aishwarya? <coughs> when the Bhagavata supremacy of God manifests. Oh, I forgot to speak one thing about the definition of Madhurya, sweetness. The opulence, supremacy of God can be manifested or not, might be manifested or not. Still, if you behave with your Ishtadeva in a family member, as like he is a family member, Loki, Selban, but Priti, this is Madhurya. So in Madhurya, the opulence might be there or not, supremacy of God might be manifested or not. But if you have a relationship with him like a family member, then it's Madhurya. Just like, for example, Vrajavasis. They saw many opulences of Krishna, but they did not accept it or believe that he was God. What the opulences did the Vrajavasis see with their own eyes? And they saw that Krishna for seven days, seven nights, Krishna lifted Giriraj. They saw a normal person could never do that. But still, Vrajabhasi didn't believe Krishna was Bhagavan. Krishna danced upon the hoods of Kaliya. Still, they didn't believe that Krishna was Bhagavan. So many times, Krishna manifests his universal form. 
but still Brijabasi didn't accept Krishna as Bhagavan. Okay. <clears throat> but in separation moments, Gopis told what? Gopis also told something mentioning the hopelessness of Krishna in separation, isn't it? In the separation moments, separation mode. The gopis, they are telling about the... Maybe directly and directly they are mentioning the opulence of Krishna. Oh no, sorry, not this. Jokingly, sometimes joking. They are mentioning. Not borrow... Um, the little last line, Gurudeva told. So, like, <coughs> sometimes they are joking or not, but they mentioned the opulence of Krishna. For example, the Brahma Gita. Krishna told, oh, this black bee is the messenger of Krishna. Shman Bhakti explains. So that Gopi, the name of Shmatarat is not taken in the Brahma Gita. Shukadev Goswami didn't say her name. But he said, some Gopi she was meditating and saying all these things like Brahma Gita Kata. Okay, continuing. Sometimes even jokingly or in other occasions they speak about Krishna's supremacy in separation mood. For example, in the Brahma Gita. You are the friend of a cheater. So if you are the friend of a cheater, you are also you are a cheater as well. Because according to the person we associate, we will have the same nature of that person, isn't it? If you um, have a right friendship with a thief, you will become a thief as well. If you have a uh, friendship with somebody who drinks alcohol, also you start drinking. So Shemataratka says, or you also be a drunk, like always drunk, always drinking. So Shemataratka told, Oh, Bamobi, you have some relationship with Krishna. No, sorry, you have some, something similar to Krishna. What? You are black and he's black. And you are a cheater. And he's also like this. What is the duplicity of the bumblebee? He doesn't stay in only one flower. He's going to all the flowers. And sometimes the bumblebee does not even sit on the flower. He's just like humming and then flies away. Have you seen this? So he could, he could also take the honey of only one flower and be satisfied. But no. He's going to all the flowers the whole day, the bumblebee, and just humming around the flowers the whole day. So, meaning is, Shmatradka is saying, Krishna doesn't have a loyalty, it's only one lady, one woman. Understand? Krishna doesn't have loyalty or Nishta to only one woman. He like loves all the women, all women. So you are a cheater. You are a hypocrite. Get out of here. I don't want to be friends with you. Have friendship with you. So Krishna is saying. Extending Krishna is criticizing Krishna. But actually, she's glorifying him. This is called Ninda Chale Stuti. Looks like she's like, you know, externally she's criticizing Krishna, but actually, Shimatradaka, she's glorifying Krishna. Nobody kills monkeys in this world. But your friend, Shmatradki is saying, your friend, I tell you about three other lives he had. Who is saying? Shmatradka. <coughs> Not in one life. Life after life, 
he's hypocrite. He's a cheater. He's a evil person. Like he's, he's a cheater, basically. He's duplicity with duplicity and hypocrisy. You know, I tell you about his life of Ezram. He, his wife said that he was kidnapped and to set free her, his wife, like to free his wife. He did friendship with two monkeys. He became friends with two, two monkeys. With Sugriva, he, I mean, sorry, he was friend with one monkey, with Sugriva. But with Bali, he was en, like enemy of Bali. Why? Friendship with only one monkey and another, another one he killed. Even killed, he killed Bali. He was enemy of the other monkey and even killed him. Ram killed Bali. What offense did Bali do? Also, Bali himself asked this to Ramchandra. Uh, Bali told my brother Sugriv, "Why are you friends with Sugriv?" Bali asked, "And why you, you consider me as an enemy?" This question comes. Like why, why? <coughs> You're saying because Bali did bad things. Okay, but why Ram killed? Why did Ram kill Bali? Nobody eats the flesh of monkey. But your friend Rama Avatar came and killed a monkey. With one friend, with one monkey, was a friend. He was friend, and another monkey, he was enemy. Like he was his enemy, and even killed him. And also, he killed him uh, with um, treachery, treachery, like with in, in his mouth, like he, his mouth, he was saying, "I prefer to die than to break a vow." To break, not to follow my words. Like Nidandani Savaragus, they prefer to die than to not follow their words. But you see, Ramachandra, he killed. You know, generally, the code of a warrior, what is the code of the warriors? You have to fight them face to face. You cannot shoot anyone in their back, like when they are giving back to you. So when you, there's a code of conduct of fight, battle. But your friend, Ramachandra, he shot an arrow in the back, like when Ram when Bali was giving back to the back to him. Do you know this Lila? How Ram killed Bali, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. And also Ramachandra, your Prabhu, your master, he used to say, ah, I am, he used to ident identify himself, introduce himself as, he used to introduce, oh, I'm a Brahmachari, like Ramachandra used to say, I'm a Brahmachari. Actually, the Pandit has explained that if you, if you have the vow of having only one wife, this is also called a Brahmachari. Shastra, there's one shloka in Shastra that explains this. Understand? Because Rama had the vow of taking only one wife. Okay, so he, he even used the cloth of a brahmachari. Your Ramavatara was using the cloth of brahmachari, dreadlocks in the head, and going with his wife. Okay, okay, okay. But if he was a sadhu in the forest, why was he carrying a bow and arrow? To be a sadhu, you have to give up your previous ashram or your previous activities. But he was holding the weapon, weapons, just like a kshatriya. The sadhus are not kshatriyas. The sadhus. Just like, without any fear, they are just walking everywhere. But your friend, Ram, in one way he was saying, I'm a sadhu, Brahmachari. He was using dreadlocks of sadhu and 
But why was he still carrying the bow and arrow in his hands? Tom? Why? The sound can stay in the forest, what's necessary to... Sorry, I couldn't listen to this. Very beautiful. Anyway, he's, hip in a hypocrite. he's a hypocrite and a cheater. So, Shumati Radka shows unmadini, like in this crazy states of Prem. So, Krishna, when he also is grazing the cows, Gopis also, they were so eager to see Krishna. And they used to stay in the two sides of the road to see Krishna. Some Gopis was under a tree to see, eager to see Krishna. Another Gopi a little bit far. She was having a darshan of Krishna. verse of the Gopi Gita. So Gopis are saying, Gopis are blaspheming Brahma. They are saying, Gopi, Brahma, you should die. Brahmas are, Gopis are saying, Brahma, you should die. Die, Brahma. Mishalant Sakravati explains in the commentary. If your post is empty, it will be better because you cannot do the properly your job. Gopis are saying to Brahma, you cannot do properly your job. So you should die and get out of this post. Why? You don't know how to create. Do you know? No. Why? What, what is my fault? Brahma is asking. What, what, what have I done wrong? And Gopi say, You created a beautiful form of our go beloved Govinda. Understand? Everybody becomes intoxicated by seeing his form. The beautiful form of Govinda. His curly hair. His smile, his face, the foot in his hands, so beautiful. And to see Govinda, I need actually thousands and millions of eyes. But you gave us only two eyes. Only two eyes. How can we see him? Two eyes. Well, eyes, sorry. Uh, what can we see with two eyes? Okay. Okay, only two eyes. Okay. But you gave us eyelids. Isn't it? You don't realize, but your eyes have... They're closing all the time, shutting because of the eyelids. I mean, you're always close, shutting your eyes, but you don't even realize. You don't... There's one story in Bengal that I didn't listen. What? Can you? Uh, some people they are blinking like this and <laughs> what they say? If the people blink, what? If the person blinks, so much, the person has more money. If the person blinks so much, the person has more money. The person has more money if they blink too much. So some they say this. Bengalis they say this. Uh, maybe sometimes, yeah, more money will come if you blink. <laughs> this is like rumors or people say like this. <laughs> so, Brahma created this beautiful form of Govinda and Give us, gave us only two eyes to see him. How can we see him with two eyes? But okay, we accept only two eyes. But on top of that, with eyelids. Oh my. Okay, we accept also two eyes and eyelids. Okay. Shumatrat 
Krishna Mathalat says, Sometimes in my dream or sometimes like personally, when I see Krishna, I feel so much happiness in my heart, so much excitement in my heart. I feel so much excitement in my heart, I cannot even explain. It's unexplainable. What is Bhagavad Darshan? What is to see God? What is it? Bhairi, two enemies. Bhairi means enemy. What are the two enemies that come when Shmatratka has given the darshan? She feels so much ananda. Her heart. She feels excitement so much. So much. And she thinks, where can I put my beloved to sit? Where can I put him to sit? Like, where can I keep him? Where I can... How can I serve him? Just like, suppose, after a long time, if you, a great friend comes to your house, your best friend comes to your house, to your house, your best friend comes to your house, you feel so much happiness and excitement that you don't even serve him properly. You do everything like the opposite you should do. Should I put him to sit? Should I should I do this? Should I give him water? You don't even know where to start or how, what to do. You cannot even think about it. What to do, what not to do. So you feel this excitement because of the happiness you feel that he's there. Not necessarily following the rules and etiquette, proper etiquette. No, you're just so much excited. You cannot even do properly the things. Chandidasa says, Oh, my friend, what can I tell you about this happiness and excitement I feel in my mind? If some Saki says, Shimataradka, tell me, today, you just met your beloved Govinda, and what do you felt? What did you feel when you were with him? Tell something about your feelings. What did you feel when you were with him? Then Shimataradka says, I feel so much bliss when I see Krishna, so much happiness. It's just like a festival. It's a festival for my eyes. Nayana Utsava. When Krishna goes cow grazing, the gopis, they just sing so much Krishna. All the gopis, they're just watching, watching, seeing him. It's like a f party for the eyes. What, what, what there is in a party, in a festival? Try to understand. Each gopi, they are with their eyes. They are actually talking to Krishna with their eyes. They are speaking with Krishna through their eyes. Understand? Actually, through our eyes, we can speak also. Yes. Not with the tongue. Not with the tongue. Not with the mouth. We speak also the eyes they say eyes speak but he's sitting with his eyes shut he doesn't want to speak with me so by with the eyes the gopis they are making this party this celebration he's coming in the kirtan beautiful this bow so the eyes they express our mood how is the talk of the love not with the tongue and with the mouth the speech of the love like the talk of how you express the love not with your words and mouth but with your eyes Shumatrat is saying Madhava Gobindo 
He's always in my heart. So, you know the name of Shemati Radhika? Oh, sorry, the name of Krishna is Madhav. What is the meaning of Madhav? Ma means Lakshmi. Dav means the Pati, like the Lord of Lakshmi. Somebody who has so much wealth. He's Madhav. <coughs> but Ma also means no. Da? Don't go quickly. Means, hey, Madhav, don't go away quickly. Go slowly, slowly away. Like if you must go away, but go slowly, don't go quickly. In the Gita Govinda, this expression is there, this shloka. Externally, Shimantaratka is saying with Ma angry, Madhava, get out of here, go, go. Madhava, get out of here. I don't want to listen to your flattering words. <coughs> Shimantaratka is Manini, with, is angry with him. Shimantaratka is saying, Ma means no. Because Shmatra later explained, Krishna, I didn't want you to go away. I actually told Madhava, I said, don't go away quickly. Like, don't go away fast. Go slowly. If you must go, go slowly, slowly. Don't go away so quick. No, just take your time. Go slowly. So that my mother stays eternally in my heart, temple of my heart. And how will I keep my beloved? Just like in the what we like in the winter. We like some um, blanket and jacket, sleeping bag. He said we like sleeping bag in the cold times. This world is also like this. When something is necessary, you grab it wholly, but when the thing is not necessary, you just even forget it somewhere, like even sleeping bag, you know it's hot, like so you even forget where you kept your sleeping bag, you don't even know where is it. But when it's necessary, you want it so much. So where do we keep the broom? Outside the house, we must keep the broom outside the house. Otherwise Lakshmi will not come in your house. Understand? So, when the broom is necessary, then you bring it inside. Shasta explains. The broom should not, should not keep inside the house the broom. Outside the house should be. But when it's necessary, then you bring it inside the house. Understand? So, it's written that, use me. Huh? Use me. It like she's praying, oh, please use me. The broom is praying, use me. No, no, I will use it only when necessary. Anchal means? You know the Anchal? What is the Anchal? The tip of the cloth of the sari, the ending part of the sari. You don't wear sari, so you don't know what is the Anchal. Who has sari? Also, she also doesn't. Have. <laughs> the Westerners are using sari. Ah, she's showing the Anchal. The, actually, the Bideshi, the Western, is becoming Indian, and the Indians are becoming Westerners. You're not even wearing sari, what? Isn't it? So the Anchal is the last part of the sari, like 
like a veil that's covering the head, that last part. So, okay, suppose somebody fills up their until the last part of their sari, you know, like a veil, the veil, and gives me so much, offers me so much jewels, like f full of jewels, yeah, and wants my beloved. Somebody makes this cloth full of jewels and wants to give to me for my beloved, like in exchange. You know, sometimes the husband goes to another country to get more money because maybe the family is not having so much money, so the husband must work in another country. So maybe the husband will go to Dubai to get some, you know, some people are sent to Dubai to get more money. So in the same way, Shimatrat King say, he's saying, if somebody tells me that, if someone says, oh, Radha, I'll give you some money, and you just give me your beloved, like, you know, send your husband to me, oh, uh, husband, I'm sorry, your beloved. Just like Gurudev said, somebody, sometimes a man will work in another place in exchange of good money, some salary. Shimatrat says, no, I'll not send him. And also another circumstance is in the time of so in the winter time we want you know a jacket or sweater or like a warm clothes but in the summer time what do you like Ba means air wind Giriseva means cool breeze like cool wind when you feel some cool wind you feel refreshment so much what is it? Ajka? it is uh, not good for us it is harmful sometimes throat infection He's talking about the mo yeah, AC? <laughs> Sorry, he spoke too quickly and the sound didn't come properly, so all the words he couldn't see. Very beautiful. Maybe Chandi does. Girish means Girishma, summertime. These songs are explained according to the grammar, you can understand this word's meaning. If I discuss all this, it will take time. So anyway, some things are also Brajabhasha, because he asked how is possible the, the word, the meaning of this. So he was explaining. Sometimes they mix Bengali with some language of Bihar and with Brajabhasha and becomes another language. And Bengali with Gujarati, everything has Chi. Because he asked about this song, this word of this song, this, which language, like Bengali or... So they are making jokes about how the Gujarat language is different from Hindi some things. <laughs> okay, that time I didn't understand it so much. One thing Gurudev said, Gurudev was saying about actually the this wind, cold wind, that some he doesn't like because it can give him like sore throat or this cold coming like this that's why whenever he comes he already asks to shut the stop the wind sometimes depending on the circumstance oh 
All these katas are very beautiful. Just speaking about the commentaries, I could speak many, many days. Because the commentaries they explain many possible different meanings for the same thing. Just like the Ganges comes from the Himalaya and goes into the ocean. The commentaries, they take one like small shloka and for one word of that shloka they explain so much, so much. Just like the Ganges that it starts in the Himalayas and goes into the Ganga Sagar. So, so he didn't took, take bath until now in Navadip. Have you taken bath? Have you gone to the Ganges here in Navadip? But he wanted to go to Ganga Sagar. He, he wanted to go to Ganga Sagar. So he should go only one time to Ganga Sagar. Have, why one time to Ganga Sagar? Because only there is so dirty. Ganga Sagar is so dirty. If you go to Ganga Sagar, then understand how dirty is there. So in the day of that festival, Makar Sankranti, you can go to Ganga Sagar and understand because people take so much bath and people do number two. I, no, I don't know if number two, but you ha there's so much number two there. I mean, how to say feces? And people had to take the feces out of their hands to take bath there. I don't know whose feces. Guru Dev just said feces. So feces of, is there and it, number is poop. And so they have to take remove to take bath in the Ganga Sagar. So there's very dirty place. That's why in the shloka says you have to go only once to Ganga Sagar. So Guru Devi saying Shamprabhu wanted to go there so much, but insisting, but they didn't go. But even here now there is Ganga, he is also not taking bath. This is the main Ganga in Navadvipa, why you want to go Ganga Sagar? Where Mahaprabhu, he debated, you know, Mahaprabhu is the combined form of Radha Krishna. There is no Tirtha higher than Navadvipa, the Ganga here. But he has no faith, so he wants to go Ganga Sagar. He wants to take bath in the... the in dirty things in the middle of the pollu pollution there in this so here the Ganges is so pure there's nothing higher the highest Ganga is in Navadvipa if you the fruit of taking bath here in this Ganges is even higher than beef in Ganges in Haridwar how many times I've been only once because he said, but you went to Ganga Sagar, they said, only once. It's not necessary to, to go to Ganga Sagar, take, take bath here, bathe here. Those who took the Lado of Delhi, they regret, and those who haven't taken, also they regret, like they want to take. There's a kit in Hindi that says, one time you go to Ayodhya, two times to Dwarka, three times go to Triveni, to meeting of the three rivers, Ganga Jamuna Saraswati, take bath there. It's one song in Hindi. <coughs> so, but all the tirtas are in Vraja. They are not going anywhere. At, uh, outside Vrindavan actually. Everything is in Vrindavan. And in Vrindavan also in Navadipa of course. If you come to Navadipa Dham, if you bathe here, you get all the fruits of bathing in all the Tirtas, sacred places. Navadipa Dham is so glorious. People don't understand this. You got a very, very, very precious things, and you think it's an ordinary thing. People have no faith, okay, so go. Go, but I don't... But if the person will come back or not, I don't know. So many people die there. Like in these other dhammas, other pilgrimage places, people die. Like in Kedar Badri, top of Himalayas, people die, you know. Some people were with completely covered in the mud. Only the eyes coming out of the mud because you know that you know these landslides, mudslide, and the purple. You know, the, some years ago this happened, and the people become under the earth, the, the mudslide. You know, landslide. So there was a landslide some years ago, and so many people they almost died, and some many people died, and and some devotees were there, and this happened. 
So the person told, he said, oh, the, the, only my head, the person is still alive. But his head was outside and he couldn't move because he he's completely um, paralyzed because of the, all that soil around him, land, so he couldn't move. And he was hoping, oh, somebody would come and rescue me because he couldn't even move because so much, like, how do you say, he cannot move his body. No, no, full of earth, soil, because I can't move. But in Braja there is also Kedar Badri, you know, this Kedar Nath, Badri Nath. The person doesn't want to go here in Braja, but he wants to go to the top of Himalayas there, to die there because of the mudslide landslide. What is it? So the person, uh, uh, Shamparabu, haven't had... Who took sh bath in the Ganga here? Uh, Ganga here? Raise your hand. Who took bath in the Ganga? Who took bath in the Ganga here in Navadoliva? Yes. Okay, if your health is not good, you do a chaman. No problem. Why to go here is such a sweet place? Why to go? So if you if you take the best sweet, you don't want good molasses, like which is a cheaper kind of of sweet, not so refined. So you got a, you got such a beautiful and thing like a nectar, but still you want the feces, impure impure things. But Prabhu was I think in the side of Shamprabhu, so Gurudev said, "Oh, he's your friend." Huh? So you're a friend of him, not my friend, no? because like everybody is Jagai Madai. Like because you, you be the friend of someone who is the same nature as you. So, okay, so the question, why Nityananda told to Jiva Goswami go to Vrindavan? To stay under the guidance of Rupa and Sanatana. So, Jiva Goswami asked, if Navadvipa and Vrindavan are the same, why are you telling me to go to Vrindavan? Why are you give, inspiring me so much, encouraging me so much to go to Vrindavan? So I'm not telling you, for example, to take bath in Ganga Sagar in the meeting of Ganges with the ocean. I'm telling you to take bath here in, in Ganges in Abduip. I'm not saying for you to go to Haridwar. I'm saying Navadip is the best of all Tirthas. Har I don't know what he told. What is the answer? So the answer is that Navadvipa is Gupta Vrindavan, hidden Vrindavan. Which Vrindavan? Gupta Vrindavan. Hidden Vrindavan. Everything is here. Radha Kunda, Shama Kunda, Giridaj Govardhan. Gopas and Gopis. But if you go to Vrindavan, you can see directly these places. And for a Bhava Sadaka, it's like a deep and a stimulation for a Bhava Sadaka. Here we cannot see the Radha Kunda. But if you go to Vrindavan, you can see Radha Kunda directly. 
and then your heart will feel so much bliss. Also, you see get directly Giriraj Govardhan in Vrindavan. How Krishna lifted Giriraj Govardhan with his pinky finger of left hand for seven days and seven nights. But here we don't see this place, Giriraj Govardhan. Or in Vrindavan. Why? Because actually Navadipadam will give you um, entrance in Vrindavan. Udava could not stay in Vrindavan. He was praying, oh, I want to be the dust of the gopi, I mean, the, get this mood and like this. He prayed and prayed, but he couldn't get this mood and then he left Vrindavan to be with Krishna. But Krishna is always in Vrindavan. But he didn't see. He wanted to go to Mathura. Okay, go to Mathura. Maybe the person has already taken permission of Dhamma and now the person is staying in Vrindavan. Okay, so those who are really doing bhajan, maybe now this life in Vrindavan, means that maybe next previous life he's already stayed in Navadvipa. So he already got a certificate from Navadvipa and now in this life he's in Vrindavan doing bhajan. Like in India you can pass in any school. Like if you pass in a high school in India, you can pass it like in any school and you can be admitted in the university. But before entering the high school, the university, sorry, you must present the certificate of your high school and also you must do the admission test of the university, isn't it? So although you have the certificate of your high school and everything, you have to still do one more test, admission test to get to, into university. So like Udav came to Braj, but he failed in the admission test. So that's why he had to come back. He went back. Yeah, he has, he's doing austerities. Of the jiva. You can only attain what is in the rasa of your heart. We don't know what is our rasa. rasa. That's why we think, oh, I want to get Madhura Rasa, this and that. If you have this already, this potency, you get this bhav, this rasa, otherwise not. Even if you try, you cannot get. I'm doing bhajan slowly, slowly. When your heart becomes free, you can a little bit already start to know a little bit. The whole it takes so much time, pray to God, do service.